Hello everyone. I haven't gone live in a while except for earlier I went live with April, but apparently that did not go live like we had hoped. But I just want to say hello to everyone and ask you what are you grateful for? I know sometimes we have you know our bad days. We have our things that we can easily complain about. Um, but there's always something to be grateful for. Like today, I'm grateful for this beautiful weather here in Kansas because the last couple of weeks or a couple of days, it was like 32, 40 degrees. Today, it was a beautiful 75 degrees. Hi, Rashad, how are you? Um, and look at this backyard. I can't wait for spring to actually get here. So the plants will bloom and it's even more beautiful out. Um, I love this type of weather. It's beautiful outside, soak up some vitamin D and everything. So what are you grateful for? There's always something that we can be grateful for no matter how bad we may think things are. We may complain about our jobs, but hey, someone else may not have a job and they wish that they had that job. We may complain about cleaning our homes, but think about the people who do not have a home. Hello, Nikita. Hello, y'all. How are y'all? Um, and y'all, you can tell I've been in Texas, right? <laughs> um, so always think about what you can be, what you are grateful for, what you can be grateful for. Yes, I'm so excited to meet you at Epic. I can't wait next week. Woo! <laughs> um, so always think about what you can be grateful for, what you are grateful for. <laughs> hello, hello. See, I get distracted when I'm reading the comments. It gets me excited, too. <laughs> um, but we always have something to be grateful for. Because the things that we complain about, that may be the very thing that somebody wished that they had the ability to complain about. So if it's a car or a house or, or a relationship or whatever, we always have something to be grateful for. And the more that we show gratitude and appreciation, the more we open up and allow things, more things to manifest in our lives. So remember, always, yes, grateful for life and the blessing of God, definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, so always thank whoever your higher power or source is, always be thankful always thank the people who are serving you day by day even if it's the housekeepers the people at mcdonald's the janitors custodians whoever tell them thank you because they are serving you and without them i mean i mean we just take so much for granted nowadays. without them we wouldn't have clean places to sit or eat um, we wouldn't have through the drive-thru just all kinds of stuff that we really take for granted especially this day and age and hello Yvette how are you and um <laughs> shout out to Atlanta I will see you next month Atlanta celebrate my birthday um so yeah again just just gratitude I am so grateful for everyone who has been following me who has been encouraging me because every day it's not easy um, but every little bit of encouragement helps. And I thank you all for that. I thank you for all of my Facebook friends. And like I've posted a while back, um, my goal is to meet each and every one of you some form of fashion. If it's at a conference or letting you know whenever I'm in the area and we're meeting up for coffee, tea, dinner, whatever, just let me know. So with that being said, I will be at Epic in Dallas next week. I am so, so excited. I believe it's all sold out. So if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, I am so sorry for you. But I am so excited about Epic and meeting all of the people connected to April and all the ambassadors, all the speakers, all the people who would be there. I'm just, I'm ecstatic 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 i just can't tell you how excited i am and um as many of you know i spent this weekend with april and that was so much fun and incredible and i know epic's gonna be even like 10 times that so i hope to see you in dallas and um don't forget come up to me and say hello tell me who you are and please <laughs> do not give me beef if i have to pull up my facebook hi connie if I had to pull up my Facebook to realize who 
you are <laughs> because we always talk on Facebook or I'll see you on Facebook so that that'll be my way of connecting and be like oh yeah this is you okay hey so make sure to run up to me I'll probably be running around like a chicken with my head cut off but that is fine so um Again, Connie, we were talking about being grateful and how we always have something to be grateful for, even when we think, you know, there's no hope or that everything is going wrong in the world. We always have something to be grateful for and make sure to show that gratitude and put it out there to the universe and things will come back to you. So I just wanted to say hello to everybody and give that little quick tip that was on my mind and... I am going to take a break. I'm going to rest for the rest of the evening. At least that's what I'm telling myself. <laughs> I'm going to try to. Um, always grinding, always hustling, always doing something. That's the life of an entrepreneur. But I love each and every one of you and know that you are not alone and that you can reach out to me at any time. Oh, and don't forget to check out... Ah! <laughs> hey, Scott! <laughs> Um, and don't forget to check out the podcast and the website at theveteranwoman.com. And hello, Jason. And please, please, please provide your feedback. Let me know what the topics you want to hear, what you want us to talk about, whatever. Just let me know because if I don't know, I can't give it to you. So let me know. So that's all. Hi, Kathleen. How are you? Um, so thanks, everybody, for viewing. Thanks for sharing this out. Thanks for all the comments and I will talk to you later. Mwah.